Donald Trump is lying about Medicare and Social Security. This new ad attacking President Trump comes from his Democratic opponent. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Here are the two main Security. claims. Trump's pushing to slash Medicare benefits. He's proposed eliminating the funding source for Social Security. Let's get the facts. On that first claim, slashing Medicare benefits, we'll call that mostly false. Biden and Democrats claim that since President Trump and Republicans are challenging the Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare, in court, and since Medicare benefits were enhanced under the Affordable Care Act, that wiping out the health care program would thereby slash Medicare. AARP reports that more than 40 million people on Medicare have received enhanced benefits under Obamacare. But the president has never said or proposed Medicare cuts and has further said any replacement health care program would protect Medicare. On the claim that the president has proposed eliminating the funding source for Social Security, that statement is fact. As reported by the AP in August, the president said, at the end of the year, the assumption that I win, I'm going to terminate the payroll tax, which funds Social Security. But the ad continues. A plan that would drain Social Security by 2023. Getting the facts, that claim in the ad is misleading. Payroll taxes generate $1.23 trillion a year that funds most of Social Security. Under a request from Democrats, the chief actuary of the Social Security Administration reported if this hypothetical legislation were enacted with no alternate source of revenue, then yes, those Social Security checks would disappear. But what the ad doesn't say is that President Trump has suggested replacing the payroll tax with revenue generated from economic growth. In short, he says we'll be paying into Social Security through the general fund. President Trump is certainly raising a lot of eyebrows talking about changes in the way Social Security is funded. But remember, Congress would have to approve those changes. Greg Fox, West 2 News.